Welcome to another episode of Animal Profile. In this video I will be talking about a mysterious deep sea predator, the viperfish. Although sometimes thought of as huge sea creatures, viperfish usually only grow to lengths of between 30 and 60 centimetres. However, they possess extremely overgrown teeth for their size, which make the animal easy to identify and are also very useful for hunting. Viperfish do not have a particular species that they mainly feed on, and will eat whatever they can catch, mostly being other fish. They will remain perfectly still in the dark depths of the ocean, luring in prey with lights along their sides, known as photophores. Once they are close enough, the viperfish will quickly attack and consume its prey. Viperfish live deep underwater, in a region known as a bathypelagic environment. This region extends from 1,000 meters to 4,000 meters below the surface of the ocean, and the average temperature of the bathypelagic region is about 4 degrees Celsius. However, viperfish have been seen in the mesopelagic region at night, which is the region above the bathypelagic, so it has been suggested that they may migrate upwards during the day. Viperfish have several light-generating organs along the sides of their bodies called photophores. They also have a long spine on their back with another photophore on the end of it, which they use to lure in prey to eat. As well as this, viperfish may use the photophore to communicate with other members of the species, such as when they are attracting mates or intimidating rivals. The coloration of the viperfish can vary from dark greys to blues, however they can also appear transparent which has a useful adaptation for hunting and evasion. Fortunately, the viperfish is not considered an endangered species, and they are not on the endangered or threatened species lists. However, they are preyed on by some shark and dolphin species, and are also unable to survive in captivity. This is because of the extreme pressure differences, which cause them to die after only a few hours. Thank you for watching this episode of Animal Profiles. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please leave suggestions for which animal you would like me to cover next, and remember to follow me on social media and subscribe for more videos like this one.